Good morning to you. They said the early bird catches the best warm. Welcome to Teens Drive. The hashtag is DTD. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And also our number 0722 But today, I'm going to photograph and I'm going to take pics. Zile, zile, eh? Zile zikofiti. Our guest, hi. Hi, how are you? Uh -huh. Would you mind introducing yourself? Uh, so, my name is... My name is Jedida Njenga, mm -hmm. also Jed Violence. Pale, that's my, my name that I use mostly on my social medias, but also that's the name I love to be identified with. Uh, I'm a professional photographer. Yeah, for the past three years, going the fourth year in December, yeah. Hey, yo, an experienced photographer. Pictures angu zita change. Tutabonga na weo, tanipigava picha. But you have said that you're a photographer. What attracted you to photography? Uh, so, I don't know how to put it, but I loved pictures mm -hmm. from way back childhood and uh, at a high school. I used, I used to love pictures. But, you know, when you in Afkangapale High School, uh -huh. <laughs> so you're trying to figure out what after high school would have end up mm -hmm. so first I wanted to do real estate hey, but hey hey but see it nearly fail nearly Peter Vizuri but uh, real estate ikakata nikona results zangu was ikampo so I decided to do I I thought of music production. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, My passion is not there, sana. But now my passion was in photography. So I chose photography maybe like as a plan B, just in case I don't make it to campus. Mm -hmm. That's my plan B. But I really loved it. So by God's grace, after high school, I got opportunity to join Figure Studios where I work now. Uh -huh. Uh, nikapata an opportunity to be coached, to be trained to the level I am. True. But also, also mm -hmm. I, I was able to pass well and also make it to campus. So, mambo mm -hmm. good. Hey. <laughs> Kusha. So, ni plan B ili kusaidia in short? Yeah, it was a plan B. But now it's my plan A, like, masomo nika plan B sasa. So, you have said that you have been a photographer for three years. Uh, how has the experience been? Yeah, the the experience has been nice, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, but everything has its highs and lows. I've been able to be to I've, I've been able to be exposed. You know, in the creative industry, exposure But exposure is really important. I was given that exposure, and uh, it has helped me to get where I am. Like there are some things you can't just go learn in classroom. So, uh, once you have a passion, you c even if it doesn't pay or at in a in a in a kupedo haraka, mm -hmm. you'll go for it because you want to achieve it. So, it has been it has been amazing. Mm -hmm. I've been able to do a lot of work. I've been I've been able to do a lot of corporate work, documentaries, weddings. Weddings, I think, are the most that I've done. Portraits, fashion. Uh, also on the laws, sometimes you feel like quitting. Najua, like to say, say I've I've been doing photography for three years. Okay. By now, na Rajo mentality, yeah, we are like a micro microwave generation. Yeah. So you want to succeed. Haraka unona si umeomoka wata ku drive kagarika ko or something. So sometimes you feel like quitting, but you remember like. In everything, everything that you go through, it is preparing you for the great things that are coming. So, kuomoka ita come, and usiku in a rush to kuomoka. And the, once you have a passion about something, it doesn't matter if it pays or not. So long as it you're satisfied about it, just go for it, and uh, God will will make ways where there are no ways, and everything will He'll provide for everything for you. Yeah. Mm. I say tips. Exposure and passion. But on a different kind of level, no, somebody might be asking, is this a marketable career? Yeah, photography is, is an amazing career. As in, the kick is so big and uh, everybody has a corner push on So, 
you also have to f- you also have to work hard and work smart you have to be creative one thing i even tell people even not just photography or anything you'd want to do always what are you bringing to the table what new are you bringing to the table even right now the job market right now degrees like degree ni kama kukula njugu as in degrees deg- what's what what extra are you bringing like for example in in school I'm in the university of nairobi mm-hmm. my class uh the sociology class we are like we're like 800 plus imagine let's say we even graduate like 400 400 people just that's just you and there are other university which have uh, the same course so imagine like let's say they even 5000 people just so may really so into the market and they are doing uh, sociology where will you get all those jobs True. so what new are you going to bring what what new innovation are you going to bring to the table so i always tell people be unique so in everything that you do what are you bringing to the table so f- to make you even for you to be identified and uh, get business because at the end of the day at any passion you need to pay bills true you need to make money and uh, photography is pain photography is really pain and it doesn't come that easily you have to take time master your craft and uh, along the way what what anza kuku identify and uh, you'll make it yeah, yeah. i'm saying now is dog i am like he i will be taking notes actually thank you na kuskiza cuz yeah also my name is jedidaya mm. was king solomon's name <laughs> <laughs> okay pan intended i can say now right now in instagram you see a lot of teens and youth they go to photo shoots and stuff mm. meaning the photography industry has grown how do you deal with competition how do you deal with competition uh this one thing uh as i was starting photography mm-hmm. uh con- i think one mistake also as you in any field is comparing yourself to other people true cuz i used to i used to try to be like other photographers like shoot like this photographer edit like this photographer but there's a time i was watching an interview of this this amazing photographer called Tinse so he was saying don't try compete with anybody as in we are all created differently we all have your eye is different from my eye the way somebody else Emmanuel Jambo sees someone akita kumpiga picture is different from how i see so run your race stick to your lane and uh, don't try compete with anyone as in master your craft stick to your lane and no no you some if if you're really good in taking product shots portraits stick to that and master it make it better do it over and over and with it akwapo oh, wow just great nemeza Oh, when the sun is
so as I was, I was saying, uh, do not try to compete with anyone because, mm -hmm. yeah, the market is flooded. There are so many photographers in the market, but stay on course. As in, you know, as a, even in photography, as in for you to get a clear shot, you have to focus. If you don't focus on the subject, you'll go out of focus. So True. focus on your vision, where you're going. Don't try to compete na, na people because even it is said, comparison is the thief of joy. If you try to compete with people, you'll be somebody, you'll, you'll, tr you'll be a people pleaser and you won't leave your purpose. Yeah. Okay, now there's a young person out there who is was a passion of photography but does not have a camera so mm. what would you tell him uh you watching at home <laughs> uh first thing you are, you have to know uh you don't have a camera even me by the i don't have a camera right now but i'd say don't be limited to equipment because even right now their phones our phones right now like really take amazing photos and uh they are they're even competing with cameras like dslr cameras mirrorless cameras so start with your phone at home even me started with my phone boy was taking selfies but take start taking photos with the phone go on youtube there are so many resources online right now just go find tutorials about photography there are so many platforms such as skillshare where you by the on a phone the page now market just go and uh, you'll get all those resources. Nowadays, still as in theater when the teacher me school fees. See, same in the back when Oksoma, but no no bundles. Just just go watch those tutorials and zita uh, idea about equipment. Just start according to your budget. After two doki dogo, just buy a good camera. With time, you'll advance. As in. A journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. one step. So, and also if you have somebody who's a, who has a camera, network, network, connections, connections. You'll just unamba to camera even if it's for one hour. Just go try out, try anything. Utapiga ato pige pchambaya. You learn along the way. So, don't be limited just because you don't have a camera. Go for that. Go. Be confident and go for what you want. You've been using the words network, exposure, connections. Mm. Okay, I'm imagining I'm a young photographer and I, I want exposure or maybe I want networking and connection. How do I access it? Uh, exposure. Uh, you know, wha some of the ways you can gain exposure is for free. For, for free. Just like you might say, like for me, for me, like let me tell you how I, I ended up getting my internship. Mm -hmm. So my current boss, we used to go to the same church. So I know I knew he he had a camera, he had a company. So I w I went. I don't know even I I don't want that confidence I had then. I went and told him I want a job. You know I don't have any skills that if I want a job, I love I love I love photography and I would like I I would love you to give me a job. You know, I didn't have any skills. I only the only thing I, I had downloaded some tutorials, and that time I was still in high school. I was about to do my KCSE. I only knew how to hold a camera professionally. So, me, but he was he was kind to me and told me, uh, I think you just do exams and uh, we'll enroll you into our internship program after high school. And uh, he fulfilled the promise. Mm. So. I gained the exposure. I offered my services and my skills for free, even if I was learning on the job. Because even right now, there are things, even me, I, all, I sometimes learn on the job. True. It's not like I know everything right now. It's, it's a journey. So even do things for free sometimes. It's not bad. One day it will pay off. Because it's not do every time. Networking, when you go for events, shoot events, just try to know, like, if it's a company, try just to know people. Even be, even if it's something you don't love, just try. If it's about farming, just go talk to people. Try to be interested in, in what they do. You know, people love, mm -hmm. people love affirmations, and people love to see people are interested in what they are doing, even if it's not 
Does it make sense? So you'll find you you've established a relationship with those people and you'll get referrals, you get people who want to work with you, even if you might not be the best, but just just the way you you talk to people, how you relate with people, it's how what will make you get business and even get money here. Awesome. Then I'll take a notes. Even as we wrap this up, yeah last question. Are there challenges in photography? Everything has a challenge. Mm -hmm. Challenges are there. So sometimes you'll feel like quitting. Sometimes you know photography even like right now we have corona. Sure. We are it's we, we are one of the industry that's suffering from it cuz uh, I'm not saying there are no jobs right now but events like you know our our field d depends on people interacting mm. social interactions such as events weddings so you find they are they are not s weddings they are not so much right now there are no concerts there are no corporate events so you find there's no business or there's little business but at the end of the day god um, god i um, to see through yeah Amen. yeah so challenges are there you'll f sometimes you'll feel yeah you have said you'll feel like quitting and uh, another big challenge is when you are at your peak when uh, like people now recognize you you're an amazing photographer you know they always say it's, it is always said it is easier it is easier to climb the ladder but staying at the top it's the most sad. challenging yeah. thing so you have to your game must be the a game. a game you always you always have to be to to be better try to be better cuz you can't relax cuz in life hakuna mtu ame make it everybody is trying to get to another level so at if even if you're at your peak try even get to the to the sky to the clouds yeah thank you very much for gracing our set today and for giving us wisdom and knowledge uh, really thank appreciate you thank it. you and also thank you for this opportunity mm -hmm. uh, it's such an amazing opportunity and uh, i feel appreciated even for what i'm doing i'm grateful yeah awesome awesome so the hashtag is dtd dear to dream and actually we have teams live coming through we have come reason together and also we have the hype session coming through but for the time being I want to tell you guys, kunaki to moto that is being cooked, but I'm not going to reveal the secret. I'm not going to be a snitch. You'll have to watch until the end. Anyway, the hashtag is DTD, Teens Drive, 10 a.m. to 12 a.m. Anyway, my name is Kennedy Mwangi. Let's take a breather. When we come back, it's going to escalate into a different kind of level. See you.